What is up, everybody? This is Chris here at Lost in Comics, and today I'm going to share some news with you and also some reaction to that news. Um, I don't want this to be an overly depressing video, but it might be, but just keep watching with me. Uh, look, today the news was announced that Jeremy Adams will no longer be writing the ongoing DC title, The Flash. Rather, Cy Spurrier, along with legendary artist Mike Diodato Jr., will be taking the reins beginning in September of 2023 under the Dawn of DC umbrella as a relaunch. Um, this coming after a special milestone 800th issue that will feature several writers, Jeremy Adams, Mark Wade, Jeff Johns, and Joshua Williamson, all all-stars to the Flash title at some point. To pair with that news, Wonder Woman 800 will also be the launch of a new creative team for that book. We've got Tom King and Daniel Semperi uh, going over to that title, so that's pretty cool. Jeremy Adams, of course, taking over the Dawn of DC Green Lantern title that will be released on May the 9th. Those are the facts, but I want to give you some other facts and also tell you what I really think about this move at DC Comics. But before I tell you guys, do me a huge favor. If you like what uh, this video is all about, if you like the content here at Lost in Comics, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're just coming across Lost in Comics for the first time. We are a fun, loving comic YouTube channel that just adores comics, and we adore creators like Jeremy Adams. Uh, uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any content that comes out here at Lost in Comics. So let me tell you a little bit more about the Flash title. Jeremy Adams took over the ongoing title in March of 2021 with Flash issue number 768, where he restored Wally West back to prominence as the Flash. All the wrongs that had been written in the events of Heroes in Crisis were washed away. Whether you like that series or not, it had some effects on Wally West. Jeremy did a great job of, again, restoring Wally West back to prominence. Jeremy has proceeded to write 28 issues, including one-shots and annuals, and that's as of Flash 794, which just came out this week, which he will end up writing more up to issue number 100, as we know. Jeremy has created one of the most adventurous, humorous, family-centered, heartfelt superhero stories that have ever graced the pages of a Flash comic. He understood Wally West at his core. He developed the kind of story that comic fans could draw inspiration from at every release. I said it during so many reviews of the Flash comic, which, heads up, it was actually pick of the week this week. Thanks a lot, DC. Taking away my pick of the week... My joy for that for that comic, um, but this was the model for how Jeremy Adams wrote this comic. He wrote it as a superhero comic and as a superhero comic should be. Jeremy Adams said this today on Twitter with the news that came out. He said, "Welp, a couple of months ago, I was told my time on the Flash was coming to an end with issue 800." I was, am, very bummed about the decision. I've fallen in love with the West family and had many stories in mind. But they said they wanted a new creative and tonal direction, and well, that's that. However, I am forever grateful for my time with the Wests and all the adventures we've had together. I also want to extend a big thank you to the Flash family. You guys are the best fans as a nerd like me could ask for. So next, Green Lantern, a couple of movies, and I'm going to try my hand at a creator-owned story that I hope y'all will join me for. Stay tuned. Wow. I mean, that, that's a lot. And you can tell just by that tweet that Jeremy put out today how much he's connected to these characters. In a conversation with Jeremy, he told me that he actually grew a real attachment to the Flash character, and he is more bummed about leaving the title than we are, y'all. Um, so in a universe that is well known for its dark nature at DC, there has been this fun pocket of hope and light over at the Flash title, which begs the question, why, DC? Why? Why? I can't remember the last time I was this disappointed at the change of a creative team in a comic book. I understand the nature of this business, and I totally get it when a title isn't doing well, it's being poorly written, but that was not the case with The Flash. I have asked several friends of mine who had comic shops, and that title was actually doing well. Um, this book was a highlight at DC, and it was only picking up steam with the one-minute war. 
I will continue to adore the DC Universe, but this one really has me scratching my head. You've got a writer that loves the characters he's writing. You've got buzz around the Flash title with the way that the book has been. You even had Jeremy Adams co-write Flashpoint Beyond with Jeff Johns and Tim Sheridan. Um, Jeremy Adams, he said that he was attached to Wally West. And I could feel that attachment, that connection with every uh, issue that he wrote. I am thankful that Jeremy is getting another book, but as a faithful reader of the Flash series, even before Jeremy took it on, I have to say this feels like a bad move by DC. Cy Spurrier is a fantastic writer, by the way, and I don't want to diminish that, but Cy's writing is polar opposite of Jeremy. He's known for his dark, supernatural horror flavor, and, and one of the last people that I would pair with a character like The Flash I will, of course, give it a shot, but I, I'm disappointed, y'all. I, I hope I hope that my my disappointment doesn't... Uh, I, like I said, I don't want to diminish Cy Spurrier. He is great in his own right, in his own style. But again, the last person I would expect to be on a Flash comic. I want to say thank you to Jeremy Adams for inspiring us, getting us excited at each release, and restoring the Flash family back to its rightful place. Flash fans across the board are thankful to you. I am thankful to you. Thank you so much, my friend. What do y'all think of the Flash news? Are you on board with the change, or do you feel a little let down like I feel? Either way, I want to know what you think. I guarantee Jeremy Adams will be watching this video. Let him know in the comments below what you thought of his run. Show your love, y'all. Thank you for watching, and even when news disappoints you, always stay lost in comics.